How are you doing? It is August 14th, 2014, episode number 32 of Weekly Woodworking Wrap-Up Review. Mm, things are going good. We got a great show today. We got lots of good videos to show you. Lots of stuff going on in my shop. So, uh, today I am drinking Mommy Bay Brewing Company. This is made right here in Toledo, Ohio. This is the Blueberry Porter and it is fantastic. So, last Friday, Steve Ramsey from Woodworking for Mere Mortals and Alex from This Woodwork put out a challenge to all their viewers to make something that has to do with their hometown, state, or country. So I stopped my video, my project video that I was making, and I made this. This is a wall hanging. It has the numbers 419 in the shape of Ohio. 419 is my area code. And Toledo is known as the Glass City for our rich glass heritage and innovation in glass industry. So I have a glass background and that allows the color of your wall to come through when you when you hang this up. It was a fantastic challenge. I really liked it. I, really, I liked the fact that it's not a competition. You're not competing, there's no prizes, it's just a challenge. That I like that a lot more. And so we're gonna talk about Steve and Alex's videos coming up here shortly. So. Uh, if you want to check out the video for that, that link is down below. Last night, I was lucky enough to be a guest on the Modern Woodworkers Association podcast. It was a great interview that I had with Chris, Diami, and Tom. We talked about all kinds of stuff. We talked about how I got started in, in doing all this and going on my own and being a self-employed entrepreneur. Drinks to you guys for having me on the show. I appreciate that. So, a link will be down below to listen to that. Okay, so you guys are always asking me, when are you gonna get that CNC machine up and running? Boom, boom. I got it up and running yesterday, finally. Um, this was the first project I made out of wood. Basically, it's, it's uh, two contrasting woods with an inlay of Ohio into this maple board. Uh, it was a great test, came out great. I have a lot of projects that I'm going to be working on that's going to use the CNC machine. Let's get into some of the stuff that you guys are doing. So Steon makes wooden spoons. He makes a new wooden spoon every single day using hand tools. And his goal is to reach 365 spoons. Check these out. These are really, really cool. Beautiful looking spoons. He started this project just to improve his hand tool skills. So check that out and you can keep up with the daily progress that he makes. Really, really good stuff. All right, time for some videos. This first video is Make a Tea Tray by Alex of This Woodwork. And as I mentioned before, this is part of the Hometown Project Challenge. This is a beautiful veneered Union Jack tea tray. Just love what he's doing here. All right, next video, Make a Wooden Sushi Serving Set by Steve Ramsey of Woodworking for Mere Mortals. Once again, this is part of the Hometown Project Challenge put on by Steve and Alex. This sushi set represents the vast amount of cultures and food choices that Steve has in San Francisco. And it's a beautiful little serving tray. So that was really fun. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Alex, for putting out that challenge. I had a good time. I hope you guys take on this challenge and make something that represents your hometown. And post it on my Facebook, post it on their Facebooks, and share it for everybody to see. All right, next video. How to make a set of modern chairs by John Peters. Mm, mm, mm. I love chairs. I love good looking chairs. And this here is a sweet looking chair. Very modern and it's out of some beautiful zebra wood. It's really cool. It's very different. There's only a few pieces involved and some unique joinery. So check out how to make a set of modern chairs with John Peters. Good stuff, John. Good stuff. Next video comes from the Wood Whisperer. How to build a grasshopper pole toy. This is pretty kick-ass. This is a cool little project that you can make with your kid and your child can customize it by painting it and you guys can assemble it together. Very cool looking toy. And when you do these projects with your, with your children, you're creating memories and they're going to just cherish these moments for the rest of their lives. So this is a great, great video if you have children. All right, last video, Red Cedar Bench by Andrea Arzenzet from Mexico. Uh, this is a beautiful looking bench uh, made out of cedar. It's, it's a great limited tools project. He doesn't have a dedicated shop, so he's doing this all outside. He is just getting started in making these wood raking videos, so you should definitely check him out and subscribe. You can just tell 
that the quality and, and passion of his videos are phenomenal. I'm looking forward to a lot more videos coming from him. So you want to check out and subscribe to this channel. All right, podcasts this week, lots of them. Uh, the Modern Woodworkers Association, as we talked about, I was the guest on this week's episode. The Craftsman's Road came out with a new episode. We also have Shop Talk Live and Wood Talk. And finally, Bob from I Like to Make Stuff has a Brain Pick interview with Jimmy Diaresta. Jimmy Diaresta is one of my favorite makers, does some amazing stuff. He's got a good brain up in that head. Very creative dude. So is Bob, for that matter. So, two interesting creative people talking to each other. Very fun. The next interview that Bob is going to do is with Jay Bates. Also, great dude, makes awesome videos and just moved into a new house and has a new shop. And I am looking forward to that interview. As always, there's more links to more videos down below if you click on the playlist link. Uh, I highlighted five videos. There's like another 15 videos that you can watch. If you're into making bandsaw boxes, I'm selling the blanks here on my website. I also have some beer tote kits if you want to make a cool little beer tote. And I have some pencil holder kits for sale on my website. So that about wraps it up, folks. New project video coming out on Monday. So look forward to that. Stay passionate and make something. To keep up with me, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Pinterest, Tumblr, Instagram, and Etsy. And be sure to check out my website at drunkenwoodworker.com